Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial and in this video I'm going to be doing some noise reduction. Now this is pretty simple to do and it should work on any sort of camera that you have no matter how intense the noise is on your footage. You should be able to remove the noise with this technique. Just letting you know that this tutorial is based on the noise reduction tool in the studio version. So unfortunately if you don't have the studio version you will have a watermark but you can also follow along and learn more about noise reduction inside of DaVinci Resolve. So before I begin if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next videos and if you found this video helpful give this video a like and yeah let's get into it. So I've got two clips here these are just some clips from my previous video which I'll put in the cards above. Um, I've already given it a quick color correction which this is my black magic camera so I shot this in raw. So as you can see that I've shot this in ISO 2500 which is pretty high and the other clip is in 3200 ISO. Um, I've just done a basic correction on here if your exposure is too high, um, you'll get a fair bit of noise and also if it's too low and you're boosting up your contrast and brightness, you'll also see a fair bit of noise being introduced. Um, so if you can, shoot at a lower ISO, which is probably the best way to avoid noise. Sometimes cameras aren't very good in low light. Now, the Blackmagic is pretty decent, um, but it could have some more work done to it. So I'm just going to go to this clip and I'm going to show you the noise here. So as you can see there's a fair bit of noise here so I'm just going to go frame by frame and you can see it. You can see the uh, noise dancing around which kind of looks horrible. Um, as you can see there's a fair bit of chromatic noise which is that blue reddish sort of noise and you've also got Luma so you want to go to your motion effects. So you're going to see that there's temporal noise reduction and then there's spatial noise reduction. Um, generally, you can get away with just using temporal noise reduction, but for better outcomes, you want to use both. So temporal noise reduction takes the frame that you are on and is trying to analyze the frames before and after the frame that you're on and so on to get rid of any noise, um, whether it's Luma or Chroma. And then spatial noise reduction analyzes each frame on their own, looking for where the noise actually is. You can play around with them on their own, but I generally just um, use a bit of both. I find that you get a slightly better look from it. Before I adjust it, I almost forgot, you want to um, add a new node. So let's go add serial node. Um, and this will be where we do the actual noise reduction. So we leave this clean, so then I can show you the before and after. Let's begin, so let's go over to temporal noise reduction and I'm gonna go down to three. You can go down to five, but I find that three is kind of a good mid strength. I find if you go up to frames five, um, it starts looking fake and really blurry the footage. We'll leave motion type as is. Um, motion radius, I'll just do large. So let's get to the temporal threshold. So as you can see we've got Luma, Chroma which are connected. So just for this tutorial you can leave them connected if you want. So I'm going to adjust the Chroma first and look over here you can see a fair bit of blue patches here and watch how it fixes it. So I'm going to bring it up a fair bit and you can see that it starts becoming like a whiter color, it gets rid of the blue. Yeah, 11 is good. Chroma even might even be a little bit too much. Let's just bring this down. But you can see what it's doing. I might bring it just a little bit, about 20. You could probably hear my computer in the background. Basically, you want to do this effect towards the end of your edit when you've completed all your cuts and transitions and color corrections and 
effects and all of that sort of stuff and you're ready to export because it's going to take a while with this noise reduction effect um, but that's fine and then we go over to spatial noise reduction actually before we go over before we go over to spatial noise reduction let's just um, have a quick look I mean it's looking better it's not quite there um, but it's definitely cleaner let's go to spatial noise reduction and let's go down to mode and we want to change this to better and then radius we will just keep it large and then spatial threshold let's just bump it up a little bit probably around 13 is pretty good I like 13 yeah that's pretty clean and as you can see here in the talent's face you can see that their face has become almost like blurry um, we can fix that by going over to the blur tool and let's just adjust the radius we'll drag it down so I'm just going to do a very extreme dramatic um, pull down and you'll see what it's doing it's just basically sharpening the footage and it's just sharpening the lines um, so let's just bring that up we don't want it to be too intense so 50 is at default but we want to bring it down to about 46 which is a pretty good sharpen it's not overly done and it just brings back a little bit more detail into the image and now let's go over to our next clip I'm going to show you another technique with noise reduction and this works really well if you've got a lot of chromatic noise so that bluish reddish noise um, so you can see here there's a bit of red noise uh, mainly that's because of the street lights uh, let's just play it back yeah. as you can see the light is flickering in the background I do have another tutorial on my channel if you want to check that out that'll be my cards and that shows you how to get rid of the flickering lights in the background but let's continue on so let's just zoom in and let's go over to our curves and we want to go to the second last one and we want to go to we want to make sure that this is luma versus saturation so I'm just going to go over to the left side I'm going to go to this line here and I'm just going to click here and I'm going to drag this point all the way down as you can see it's as I'm slowly moving it you can see that it's desaturating that reddish hue it is affecting a fair bit of my clip so if there is a specific color grade this might not be the best option for you but if you're just trying to fix noise and you're not too worried about the colors then this technique could be really helpful for you so I'm just gonna have this dragged down so that did a fair bit of noise reduction for us yeah so now I'm just gonna go over to temporal noise and I'm just going to do everything again so I might bring this over to about 14 I mean you can eye it you know this is pretty clear here um, skins clear um, yeah and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of spatial threshold about five and that's cleaned it up really nice as you can see there's hardly any noise near this light there's no noise on my face and the background is pretty clean and my jumper is clean as well yep everything is looking good so let's just go over to the blur and let's add a little bit of sharpness now with the sharpness I forgot to mention this earlier with the sharpness depending on the lens you have so if you have a pretty decent lens the maximum you want to bring it down to is about 46 now if you've got one of those kit lenses I find that putting it slightly lower to about 44 helps and that just brings your sharpness in 
So yeah, that's um, how you can do noise reduction inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.